obviously they're, they're grass eaters, so within their intestines they've got lots and lots of bacteria working very hard to break down the cellulose and get rid of it and turn it into nutrients. But when you kill the rabbit, the bacteria obviously aren't dead and they carry on regardless and they produce warmth and they produce the kind of effluent that seeps out. And what happens is if you don't paunch them quickly, the, the meat in the, in the, around the stomach goes green and smells awful. And nine times out of ten, if people have eaten rabbit and they've said it tasted gamey or just unpleasant, it's virtually always because the rabbit hasn't been paunched quickly enough. Um, you also make sure the urine's out of it by pressing in between its legs with your thumb. Um, so those are the first things to do. And then obviously um, you've got to skin it. You start by removing the legs and the head. Secateurs are very useful for that. Bending the paw, cut above, and then the head. It's easiest to go from the back of the neck and push it right in, and you should hear the crunch. So that's what you're listening for, and you can feel with your fingers, it should be separated. Fold and cut, fold and cut. If you try and cut through fur and skin, and the skin is loose, it's very difficult. Pull the ears and then you'll find that you'll be able to cut through without too much trouble. And then you employ what I call a rolling technique. You see there, that's the meat and that's the skin and you need to find the seam between the two. And you roll back over the back until you reach the spine and then you turn it over, do the same until you reach the spine. And then you get to what I call handbag stage because you can actually get your hand under the fur and it hangs a little bit like a handbag. Then you work back across the rump a little bit and then if you push that cut bone down against the board, the leg pops out like so. Cut through the tail and then it's simply a case of pulling the skin from the body. You will end up with that last bit of intestine in there and that's, that's the droppings still waiting to come out. So what you do, you pull out what you can from this side like that, and then and get hold of that last bit of intestine and pull it out, okay? But these are the kidneys, okay? They lie either side of the spine. You just cut them in half and then remove the tiny little core. So that'd be beautiful fried with a bit of bacon and onion or something like that. Next up, we've got the liver. So the liver is very large in a rabbit. It's always good just to have a look at the liver. So if an animal's diseased, it tends to show up in the liver and you often get white legions. You would expect the meat quality to be, to be less. If the rabbit was carrying some kind of disease, it puts stress on the body. That's the, the sheet of the diaphragm there. You go through that with your finger. And up in there, you've got the heart and the lungs. So what you do, you get two fingers like that. You go high in the chest cavity and you feel the heart as a lump. You get the heart between your fingers, give it a pinch, and out it comes with the lungs still attached. Not many people eat lungs, wouldn't do you any harm. The heart, perfectly edible, bit of offal. Very conveniently, there's a point here where the leg meets the rest of the body, which gives you a point to cut. So if you cut there and follow that round, Do it right round in a ring, give it a twist, and off they come. And we just separate them using the big knife. And there we go, you've got your, your two haunches. And that is your saddle. And there. Traditionally, the front end would have just been cut in half that way and thrown in the, the casserole pot like that. The downside of that is if you cooked it long enough for it to be tender, you'll also cook it long enough for all the bones to come out. And if anyone's ever done it, you end up with all these tiny little rib bones floating around in your casserole, which can be a nuisance. So what I tend to do is approach it more like a, a lamb and cut the shoulders off. So it's quite simple. If you just work through there and cut down and round, shoulders come off quite neatly and then all you've got is a couple of bones and the shoulder bone in there, which is quite a simple thing to deal with. They're all quite hard working muscles, so they're gonna need quite a long, slow cooking, unless you've got a very young rabbit, in which case you could marinate that and put it on the barbecue, and it's a bit like chicken wing or something like that. It's, um, that's good. That's the belly. 
So that would be the equivalent of a breast of lamb or something like that. It's quite sinuous, hard working muscle, and it's quite tough. So we'll separate that off from the rest of it, like that. It comes off quite easily, it exposes the loin. So then if you cut along the spine, you get that lovely loin of meat. We put that with some herbs and then just fry it in some butter and you'd cook it so it was only just cooked through and then just slice it that way, it would be tender and delicious. So this is the, the, the powerhouse of the rabbit, so you've got your really hard working muscles. In beef, that's the equivalent of your silver side and your top side and all those things that can make quite a chewy roasting joint. Either you need to give that a very long, slow cooking um, with some fat in it, so sausages or bacon, something like that, until it's falling off the bone, or you'd need to bone it out and make sure it had the quickest cooking that you could possibly manage. So there's loads of meat in there and they're very easy to bone just by cutting around. My basic rules are cook it fast or cook it slow. When people have bad experiences with game, it's virtually always because they've got hold of it and they've tried to cook it just like normal farmed meat and it just doesn't work. You end up with very tough, dry meat. So with two cuts, you've removed most of the meat and then it's a simple job just to cut it up into bits that would cook in a kebab, for example. A good rabbit has a very mild, mild flavour. It's a sweet flavour and the texture can be very good if you get a good one and cook it correctly. So I'd get something like that, put it in a simple marinade, probably with lemon juice, mixed herbs, um, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, leave it for 24 hours, thread it on kebab skewers and then on a really, really hot barbecue, cook it off um, until it's only just cooked through. Doesn't matter if it's a tiny bit pink in the middle, that's fine. I love to be able to get out and get the food. I think it's a very instinctive thing for humans. I think we've evolved to forage food from our environment and it's just intrinsically pleasing when you do it and makes you feel happy, it's good.